Hi, this is Dominic from Pick Nature over there, and I will show you how to make Elementor animation ready or and enabled for animations. And we can either download these animations, so this was a free to use and already ready made animation that is created by the community, and we can use it or we can. Uh, create these SVG animations on our own using Adobe After Effects and uh, the Body Movement plugin. So let's jump right into it and let me show you how to prepare Elementor WordPress and uh, yeah, how to get the animations basically. So first of all, we need to install the plugin. So we go to Plugins, Add New and put here WP body moving that's the first step look uh, i'm not that good in spelling there it is wp body moving install activate nothing fancy here so once we have this um, plugin installed we get this tab here animations so we click on it and um, we, as we see i was already um, super uh, yeah I was already super excited, so I uploaded three animations just to check it out. And I have this nice world animation, which is the one you saw earlier. So what basically happens is we upload our JSON code to this plugin. And I will show you where to get it right now. So this is a website called Lottie Files. Lottie Files. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's not so important. And we can just sign up and download all the animations that are created by the community and this is uh, for free as you can see here um, yeah luckily I, sh I saw that everything is free here that's pretty cool or we can as i told you guys earlier create them with adobe after effects but i mean that's just more convenient to get a free animation from here i suppose so Somewhere here I found this a nice world animation. So basically what you do is you go here, can you can adjust the background color or whatever. Uh, I usually just take a white one or make it transparent. You can also edit the layers, so you can edit the colors of this animation, which is pretty cool. And yeah, then we can download the JSON code, which I already did. So what we do now is we go to animations. Oh, it's already here in this tab and go to add new so we name our animation as we like so maybe for this one this is a tutorial animation we name it tutorial we upload the json json code over here this is in german as i'm german and so we don't have to worry about this we just we can just leave it at svg because the animation is uh, rendered in the browser so basically what what happens is the JSON code is, yeah, the browser renders the JSON code and displays an SVG, which is uh, animated. And then here we can choose if, if we want to loop it, which means um, there will be an infinite, infinite yeah, times of playing the animation, lazy loading it, and this is pretty self explanatory. Oh, as I see, you cannot see it because it's hidden by the cam. But yeah, we have some settings here. We can adjust the elements with height, and that's about it, I guess. So we take this short code here, which is hidden under my cam, but nothing crazy going on there. So you guys can be reassured it's, you don't miss out anything here. So, and then we publish it, take this short code, copy it, and go to this nice website over here which I created with a lot of love and um, edit it with Elementor. So what happens here is, as you can see, there is uh, nothing here, it's empty, but um, yeah, I was, uh, I was very busy and I created this text widget earlier. So as you can see, this is just a normal text widget here. And um, in the text, I placed the short code, nothing fancy going on over here. And yeah, that's about it. Now we are ready for the animation and whoa, what happened? And as I, as you can see, it looks pretty smooth. It's very lightweight. 
and it works like a charm without any hassle. This is just one plugin that we installed. And yeah, this is the second animation, pretty cool. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'm here to help. That's my job. Peace out.